it takes you to roll all those clouds away. I said someday, someday, baby, after a while, you will be sorry. In terms of how we got here and how this whole campaign got started, it's about two years ago right now that the Social Planning Network of Ontario uh, did a series of consultations in 25 communities around Ontario. And we were, two years ago right now, we were waiting for the McGuinty government to announce their poverty reduction strategy. They promised a poverty reduction strategy in the election campaign. Many people from many different uh, communities were advocating for them to come up with a serious plan. And in preparation for that, uh, there was a tour of 25 communities with something we called the blueprint, which was a way to establish a standard against which to measure whatever the province came out with. And on that tour, uh, Marvin Novick, I don't know if Marvin's in the building, I think he is, but I can see him back there. Marvin Novick and Peter Clutterbuck over here, the Executive Director of the Social Plan Network of Ontario, toured 25 communities. And they did a presentation on the blueprint, and I'm not going to try and talk about that. But two interesting things happened that Marvin and Peter heard in many of those communities and reported back to us. They were in meetings like this, and when the meeting was over, somebody from the local public health unit would come up to them and would say, you know what, we do something every year, we're required to do it, that's called the Nutritious Food Basket Survey. Here's a basket of healthy food, and we have to do research in the grocery stores in every community to see what it costs. And they found out it costs on average about $200 a month per person. And that a person on social assistance on average had that much money available for food. And the public health people were quite frustrated that they'd been doing this survey for 10 years and it didn't seem to be being acted on. <clears throat> that was one thing Marvin and Peter were hearing. Another thing was people coming up to them, people who rely on social assistance, who were saying to them, at the end of every month, I don't have enough money for food. I don't have enough money to eat. I run out every month. And Peter and Marvin were saying, this isn't some occasional thing. This is chronic hunger in our province. And Marvin and Peter said to those people, what do you think would make a difference? And they said, if we had an extra $50 for the last two weeks of every month, that would make a difference. Right there was born the idea of putting food in the budget with an extra $100 a month as what we called a healthy food supplement. $100 a month for every adult in social assistance. We're trying to win a way of setting the, the rates for social assistance that are transparent and reflect the real cost of living. But we're actually trying to win more than that too. And that's what we're going to hear about from our next set of speakers. 